Okay, I think I like that a little better. <clears throat> well, here I am, darling friends. I am home from Las Vegas, New Mexico. My lips are a little dry. I don't think I have any chapstick down here, but we'll just make it work. So I started to do these little daily videos the day before I got on the road to Las Vegas, New Mexico to spend the beautiful celebration of Ostara, of spring, of rebirth, of fertility, of renewal, of reincarnation with Wendy Rule and a crew of beautiful magical people. And now I am home and, you know, I'm forgetting to share these videos elsewhere, like on YouTube and everything. And now, now I feel like it's too late <laughs> because it was kind of just in the moment thing. But I'm just trying to kind of do some more laid back daily documenting kind of things that are going on and th uh, things that I'm doing just as a way to make myself happy and as a way to share with you and let you know what's going on. I had a scary morning. I was sent my, I took myself to the ER, I actually took a lift to the ER because uh, somewhere in my pa packing and moving my things around, I hurt my, my muscle right back here pretty bad and it was hurting all week and then I came home I drove all the way home from the retreat which was like uh, almost an eight hour drive and I just was really really tense especially through the last leg of the journey which took me over the mountains of Flagstaff which was really really scary I didn't know if I was going to make it. There was lots of snow. The road disappeared. <laughs> and I could barely see the car in front of me. And it was beautiful. But it was really scary. But I made it, thankfully. And I I just I don't I don't think I stayed very hydrated during during my drive, so a little de dehydrated today. I'm feeling better. My back is feeling better. They gave me a shot at the hospital. They gave me like a, a medicine right here, like um, some kind of pain medicine and a prescription for like a mu muscle relaxer, which I'm on right now. <clears throat> Yeah, and I'm down here trying to get into recording some vocals, and the muscle relaxer is throwing an interesting twist into how it feels to sing. <laughs> but I'm feeling better, and I'm grateful for the care of health workers and hospital workers who, t who took care of me. And um, yeah, I showed up in tears I've actually tried to lay down last night and after I had unloaded the car and everything and I just was inconsolable. I was very emotional and uh, couldn't go to sleep. I began to get nauseous and so also I was anticipating this drive to San Francisco in three days and I thought no, 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 I can't. I can't have this happening because I've got, I've been really looking forward to this trip and I don't want to reschedule, but I know I can't drive a long drive to California if I'm feeling like this. And so the doctor checked me out and decided that I hadn't dislocated anything. I knew that already, but he said since it was just muscular, he was going to just give me a patch, a lidocaine patch, or subscribe that to me, and 
a muscle relaxer, which is making me feel fine and dandy right now, as you can imagine if you've ever been on a muscle relaxer. And so the plan for the next three days is to uh, sit right here and work on the album. You can see my computer behind me here where I'm recording everything. This very simple setup. Look, I've got a matching fur coat and microphone. And yeah, so I listened to the album on my trip and I'm really, really happy with it. I'm very proud of it and I love it and I'm excited to share it, but I hear just a, a lot of um, a lot of technical stuff I want to fix and some things I want to re-sing. So I've got my coffee down here and I've got my water and I've got my songs. I had a cup of ramen earlier and yeah, I'm going to try to knock out some vocals and see what happens. Let's let's pray I can sing and and catch a tune. <laughs> but it was it was a lovely Ostara retreat. It's always a magical time with Wendy Rule and she shared some of her new album which is going to be called Meadowlark, which is going to be called Fabulous and we got to hear some of the rough mixes as well as an entire concert of her new songs from this new album which was such a privilege such a gift and it was a, it was a very healing comforting nurturing time and I dressed up every day as you can see from the reels I've been sharing because to me there's magic in feeling beautiful and dressing up connecting to your inner child sparkling shining feeling pretty I think that that's all it's part of my magic anyway I don't I don't know about yours but it was it was really nice just to be around the participants and to have interesting conversations and to do this really important inner work around rebirthing re re-emerging, you know, everything that is spring, it's like Ostara is about embodying that in, in, in your own creative way. And it was definitely a retreat of creativity and, and music and connection. And it was a lot of fun. And the food was so good. Wendy sent me home with a really good so a really good bag of road snacks she had made herself, some tamales, and she put together like nuts and dates and chocolate and everything, and and so that kept me that kept me alive on the drive. But man, that journey through Flagstaff was something. I was cranking Heart, which is like my favorite band, you know, and. <laughs> You know, I love that song, Stranded. Don't leave me like this. Don't leave me stranded. And I drove by a car that had went off the road and been buried in snow. I said, fuck no, that's not gonna happen to me. And I kept on punching it. And I was just like white knuckling it like <laughs> and all the cars had their um, flashing lights, you know, That's because everybody was going really, really slow. And I don't know, everything about it was epic. And it was just kind of an interesting juxtaposition of this celebration of spring and then going through this kind of extreme winter landscape, you know. And so, I mean, it's all nature. It's all beautiful to me. I grew up in the mountains, so... I'm not afraid of things like that, but I was afraid for uh, <laughs> for that that little leg of the drive. But I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I'm feeling better. I'm glad I t did the responsible thing, which I usually don't do, and took myself to the ER. And 
I said, help, help, help. And luckily it was not busy there. I think there was just when I walked in, maybe one other person sitting in the lobby. And so I got seen relatively quickly and I think I was, on, well, I was only there for like three hours, but considering it was the ER, I was lucky, I was grateful, okay. And I'm glad to be feeling better and it doesn't look like it's going to hinder my trip to San Francisco. And so send me healing to my body, physical healing. I don't really ask much for prayers very often. But, yeah, I'm asking just to, to send some long-distance Reiki. If, if you are a Reiki-ist, a Re Reikster, a Reikister. And if you, if you pray to God, you can say a little prayer for me. That I have a smooth recovery. I'm going to be just taking it easy besides doing some singing down here. And I haven't showered or shaved or anything today. I've just been napping and listening to Rose McDowell, who I just, whose music I just discovered today. Rose McDowell, look her up. Um, Rose McDowell, the song Soldier. Soldiers? Soldier or Soldiers. And the song Crystal Night or Crystal Days. Crystal something. Rose McDowell. Just look her up. So I was uh, enjoying some kind of like cheery. It's like cheery goth. Cheery 80s goth. Not Really nice music. If you like Lena Lovitch. If you like Susie and the Banshees. Then you probably like Rose, Rose McDowell. Scottish. Scottish artist. And uh, very 80s, very catchy. Uh, yeah, so I've been enjoying her today. And yeah, I'm going to sip some coffee and pull up some songs. And I I listened to, the, you know, my new record, like I said, it's called Shadow of the Flame. I listened to it several times on this trip and made several many notes about things that need to be done literally in the next two days. Uh, so, um, yeah, just some songs I, I want to re-sing, some editing I want to do um, on some of the instruments, just kind of technical nerdy stuff. Not much that's probably interesting to you. Anyway, love you guys. This is my green fur. It's more like a shag carpet. It didn't come from an animal. It's acrylic. It's warm. It's soft. I wish you could feel it through the through the through